What does the end of life look like for the 9 billion chickens raised from meat every year in the United States? Chickens arrive at the slaughterhouse in packed crates. While fully conscious, they're loaded onto a moving conveyor belt and hung upside down by their legs, which makes breathing difficult. Slaughterhouse workers struggle to keep up with the line speeds and force birds' legs into narrow shackles, often causing injuries to the birds and themselves. Panicked, the chickens sometimes flap their wings, leading to broken and dislocated bones and covering workers in blood, feces, dust, and dander. Their heads are dragged through electrified water meant to render the birds unconscious before slaughter. Some are stunned improperly or miss the water completely. This means that some birds are still alert and able to feel pain when the throats are brutally slit by automatic blades. Some chickens even miss the kill blades and are scalded alive in the feather removal tanks. In 2019, more than half a million chickens were still breathing when they reached the scalding tanks. No animal should be subjected to such horror. This is how the majority of chickens raised for meat are killed in the United States. This is live shackle slaughter. But it doesn't have to be this way. By adopting the better chicken commitment, meat companies can end live shackle slaughter and the worst abuse of chickens in their supply chains. Ending live shackle slaughter would also improve conditions for slaughterhouse workers who are stressed and sometimes injured while handling terrified birds. You can help. Visit liveshackleslaughter.com and tell the meat industry to ban horrific live shackle slaughter by adopting the Better Chicken Commitment.